Hi, my name is Howie Brownstein, and I'm with Columbine School of Botanical Studies, along with... Stephen Yeager, from the Columbine School mm. of Botanical Studies. And we're here on behalf of Mountain Rose Herbs to bring you a piece of this. The meadows at middle elevations in the Western Oregon Cascades. Yarrow, you're a star. What do we have here? Oh, it looks like it's a yarrow, Achillea millifolium. Yeah, Achillea millifolium. Achillea millifolium. Millifolium, because it has uh, these basal leaves, meaning the, and colline leaves. Basal leaves are coming from the base of the plant. Colline leaves are on the flowering stem. And the basal leaves are uh, millifolium, a thousand leaves. In this case, they're, because they're so segmented, almost fern-like, millifolium. They're feathery. Feathery, for your cap. Oochie coochie coo, ha 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 ha. <laughs> so here we have yarrow, Achillea millifolium in the Asteraceae. Asteraceae? Asteraceae, which is the sunflower family. Uh, Asteraceaes are pretty easy to tell because they have many flowers packed into a head. I have many flowers packed in my head, Stephen. I know how. You've been studying plants a long time. So rather than each of these being an individual flower, there's actually a whole bunch of little my, tiny flowers, whole flowers with, with all with their own petals, many flowers packed into a head, similar to a sunflower. But that, that in-depth botany, that's for another day, Howie. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, you're telling me that each one of these little flowers is actually, wow, there's a whole bunch of flowers in that little flower. Yeah, packed into a head. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the ways you can tell the aster AC. Well, aster, uh, th this particular plant, yarrow, is a cosmopolitan, which means it grows everywhere in the world. And I think it's interesting that it's been used and revered by cultures in virtually all continents. I don't know about Antarctica, but the, the, the other continents for sure. Uh, uh, it's cross-culturally and in many different modalities of healing, this plant has been used uh, both, uh, both uh, medicinally and energetically. I think it's quite interesting. Uh, one thing that I find very interesting about the yarrow is the fact that it, not only does it grow everywhere, it's extremely resistant. Um, it can handle a lot of disturbance. In fact, if you uh, have yarrow in your lawn and you mow it over, over and over again every week, it will just bloom under the mower blades. Like this big, under the blades. I can't believe it. Uh, I've seen I've seen a yarrow growing at the coast. I've seen it at Alpine at the, almost the tops of the mountains after where the trees don't grow anymore. A yarrow is unbelievably adapted to a wide variety of stresses and climates. But one of the things that I find extremely interesting is that the smell of the yarrow and its chemical constituents change in different places. Some people call that a, like a chemotype. A chemotype. Mm -hmm. Chemotype. Chemotype. Oh. oh, how about that? Well, to me, I find that quite interesting. And I know that Michael Moore, the not Michael Moore the producer, but Michael Moore the herbalist, uh, in his in-depth knowledge of yarrows, would often talk about the different kinds of yarrows. They're, they're, all, they're all the same species, just growing in different places. And he would talk about the different chemotypes and which ones he liked best for which. Stephen, can, what about that yarrow that grows in my garden? The ones with the pretty colors that sometimes they're yellow, mm -hmm. sometimes they're pink, and of all yeah. assortment of colors at yeah. times. Those, those are uh, horticultural varieties yeah. that are bred, intentionally bred to have different colors, to, to make them bright yellow or, or pink. Um, generally, I, I don't use those for uh, in, in my preparations, um, but I, I, I don't see why you couldn't. Mm. It probably would not be harmful. 
but yarrow just grows so everywhere, at least here in the Pacific Northwest and, and pretty much everywhere you could find yarrow uh, growing uh, without getting those horticultural varieties. Well, I just know that yarrow is so versatile in its properties. It's uh, aromatic because of its smell. It's diaphoretic. It makes you sweat. <sighs> that could be useful at certain, certain times. Mm -hmm. uh, it's used on wounds. It can be bitter and aromatic. I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, that sure has been a lot of fun, Howie. Sure has. It's time for us to go, but be safe and interact with plants. We'll see you next time.